you know, let's, let's flip the storyline and think exactly what the Koreans are feeling and, and from their perspective in this world. I mean, you know, they've probably, they probably have heard about the uh, atrocities that are, that are going on in Africa in, and, and as well as the, the genocide of the Europeans, I think that we might see break out uh, with, from, from the Zulu. They're bordering Genghis Khan, who, from their perspective, isn't that great. They're not as good. I know that we try to argue that Genghis Khan is a good guy, but they're kind of not because, well, they're destroying China. They, they, they're absolutely destroying China. So from Korea's point of view, they're just trying to leave this world. They're trying to just get in their, their spaceship and, and get the hell out of here. And then not to mention you have just these... <laughs> <laughs> you got these religious freaks to their east in J Japan like even though they were <laughs> they've like started the game off with only like a few cities uh well I guess I can't really call them religious freaks because Korea if I'm looking at this from the Korean perspective they're also following the Shintoism religion but uh I'm sure there's a little bit more 26 out of 27 citizens of Kyoto are following Shintoism uh, we only have, we only have 15, yeah, so yeah, I could, I would say, the Koreans are probably thinking of the Japanese as religious freaks. Uh, what else do we have? We have, like, 16 citizens in Osaka, uh, Tokyo, four, four out of five, four out of five, yeah, so, Korea's like, I don't want to mess with Japan, I've got these scary Mongolians to my north and east now, because China's fallen, more than likely China would have been their only friend, uh, not to mention, you've just got weird colonies like Sweden over here. Sweden, the Huns, and Russia, who shouldn't even really... Russia could be over here, but Russia did lose their capital, so it's just still a little bit strange. So, from the Koreans' point of view, they're like, what the hell? Get me out of here! Let's build a spaceship part and never go back here again. Escape to Alpha Centauri. That, that's that got to be their thinking. Um, I never really think thought about the Japanese as like these religious freaks in this game. Uh, I mean, 26 citizens following Shintoism. That's amazing. That's really good. Those are really, really good odds. I mean, it, it's comparing it to Eastern Orthodox, well, Eastern Orthodox doesn't have any, quite as many citizens, but uh, it, it's still 11 out of 11 is pretty damn good as well. I guess it's probably a pretty normal normal thing for uh, for founding founding cities. I don't even know where the founding cities are because they've just been so insignificant. Uh, anyways, so yeah, I get it. I guess I understand it from Korea's point of view. They just want to get the hell out of here. They they're not. They haven't declared war on anybody. I don't think the entire game they never declared war on anybody. They're just trying to stay peaceful. Their guardians, Mongolia, who they probably thought were were their friend. Oh, Shanghai got stopped. Got taken back. But that's fine. It's gonna drop again. Uh, yeah, who they probably thought were their friends, just. Uh, I don't know. They started. I know that Mongolia has denounced Korea. I know that I'm sure they've got spies realizing what's going on in, inside of here. They really have no friends. Indonesia just declared war on China. I don't think Korea and, and China were friends, but uh, you still got to think from Korea's point of view, who stayed so peaceful. I mean, the only the only person you could think that Korea would be friends with would be Japan. But I I just kind of making up the storyline that Japan's just a little bit too religious for them. For, some, for, for Korea, who's going after a science victory, who's incredibly technologically advanced, I'm sure that's pr they're probably not all about the, uh, the whole religion and stuff like that in this world. It's, oh, such a crazy storyline here. Oh, they still haven't taken Shanghai. That's so weird to see. Whatever, Shanghai will fall next time. Denmark has denounced Poland. How's Indonesia doing? Come on, Indonesia, do it, please. You've got, you've got your Great War Infantry. You're, you're also going to get some reinforcements from Mongolia as well. You can do it, Indonesia. Please do it. Send your entire navy over. Your, the entire game has been waiting for this moment here. Don't let it pass you. Do not let it pass you. India is going for uh, this Chinese city at 21 population. Uh, Memphis has still not fallen. Oh, you better! Oh man, Arabia, you you're gonna make a just a terrible, terrible mistake here, because the Zulu are now gonna move straight in after Memphis. And you know what? They might be even, even walk in. No, they don't have. If they had railroads, they could probably walk in right now because Memphis is at so low of health. That's not gonna be the case. I, there's no way, right? Yeah. So next, that that city's gonna be gone. So Ethiopia is gonna be eliminated. There goes Ethiopia. More than likely, Egypt will be eliminated too at some point. Technically, it's a little bit crazy to be saying that the, the Zulu are going after a European genocide. They've only declared war on one European so far. They've only done damage to one. Um, 
but they've been taking over civs left and right. Morocco's about to settle a new colony here. Wow. Who can stop the Zulu? Really? Really, who can stop the Zulu? Pfft, I don't know. We've got Mongolia going after Disney World, I think. Or are they going after Louisiana? Oh, they did take Memphis. Oh, you're so lucky. You guys are so fucking lucky. Arabia. Oh my gosh, you guys. Now watch watch the Zulu declare war on Arabia. You guys took too damn long. You should have you should have grabbed Memphis a long time ago. Again, what is Babylon doing? Look at Babylon here with artillery units, with riflemen. Easily they could take on Arabia. Now that the Arabian a lot of the Arabian forces are across the Red Sea or out here in the Indian Ocean, go to war. Babylon, get strong. Come out of nowhere. Compete. You, there's no way you can compete. It's too far behind. You're too far behind Korea. But still. Alright, so Mongolia will gang back Shanghai. My, Mongolia gangs back Shanghai, and I don't know where they press forward from here, really. You're going to get some really big cities. This is 20 population, 14 population, 21. Well, this will, this will probably fall to India. I'm wondering now if Siam is thinking about joining in as well. We also have, you know, Siam and Japan are the only other civs that aren't in this Eastern World War. I don't want to call it a world, world War, but oh, Siam also might be going for Australia. Or maybe New Zealand. I want someone to go for New Zealand, man. Damn it. Um, there is. There is an Eastern Asian World War going on. Uh, except for Korea and Japan. Korea and Japan are the only ones that stayed peaceful. Okay, yeah, obviously they've peaced out because... Uh, there are no more troops. Hey, you know what? Zulu might be doing us a favor. I won't have to actually go down here, go into the uh, the in-game editor and delete and delete Ethiopia. I think uh, the Zulu are going to just destroy their last remaining troops, and that's it. Although, do you have to kill their great general as well? You might. We'll see right now when this guy dies. Unless he makes peace and leaves him, leaves him alone. That could be the case. All right, so the Zulu now have no wars. Boom. Okay. Does, does this guy disappear? This is Ethiopian. It, I, it's, it seems like it makes sense, but I don't think so. They've lost all their troops. Doesn't matter. If I have to go and, and delete them, delete the Civ, that's fine. But there goes Ethiopia. Rest in peace. Again, this is why this AI only battle is so crazy, is that you never know who is going to get destroyed. Uh, Carthage again is at war with Spain, but I don't think Carthage is going to be able to do any damage against Madrid. Uh, Spain's got too many units over here to reinforce. And there's a lot of Zulu troops in Iberia now, thinking, thinking, deciding where they go next from here. Korea is secretly planning against a sneak attack against another Civ. All right. Korea is planning against another Civ. Persia and the Huns and Arabia. You probably shouldn't be doing that, Arabia. Um, also, the Huns. Th those are those. That's a weird choice. I'm guessing it's because India's denounced Siam. I'm guessing the Huns realize they're not going to be able to take any Polish cities. Poland's going to remain strong. Poland's strong. As I've said, the entire game. They're not going to be able to take anything over unless the Ottomans join in, but the Ottomans have, are preoccupied with Russia, I think, right? Yeah, Ottomans are at war with Russia, so I, I, don't, I don't get it. They did go for Louisiana. Oh, man. Louisiana. What is in Louisiana for, Mon for Mongolia? I mean, there's Mardi Gras, I guess, beads and stuff. That would be good, beads and stuff. Uh, Morocco is gonna go somewhere here, but you're gonna ha you're gonna get some problems with the Zulu. Uh, I'm I'm glad that at least the Zulu have stopped settling. Oh no no yeah, there's no more settlers around over here. Some tension. The first major tension between Genghis Khan and the Zulu. Not much tension, but they are kind of surrounding each other here. Ah, uh, there. It's like two heavyweight boxers meeting each other face-to-face pre-fight here for the first time. That's where I'm imagining this. I mean, I know that they've probably met way earlier. They've had kind of run-ins with their ships and stuff like that, but we've got a significant Zulu fleet meeting a way more significant, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, a lesser significant Mongolian fleet. Uh, they are Wow, Shintoism is moving all the way over here. Japan, this Japanese missionary is moving to the New World. That is how insane they are. Well, good for Japan. They've got something to do. They've stayed preoccupied. You've got to give it to Japan for being, I think, the world's dominant religion. They're passing up everyone because the New World is not following any religion. 
nothing here. Shintoism. It's just Shintoism. And there's all these cities they can convert. Because Ethiopia is, yeah. Eastern Orthodox is probably going to be a dying religion. It won't die, but it, it won't grow. That's the thing. The other religions will probably have a little bit more success now. Or maybe not. It's going to be tough for Islam to continue to push from Babylon, from the Babylonian capital. Now what did the Zulu do? This is the first time the Zulu are at peace with everybody. They're moving all their air force towards Iberia. They know they've got this spot ready. I think they launched their attack for the Western Europeans, for France, for England, for the Celts. Right? This is the first time we've seen the Zulu at peace for a really, really long time. They're not at war with anybody. I'm wondering what they're going to do. I, I just, I don't know. No idea what they're going to do. Ethiopia's publicly denounced Arabia. And Ethiopia has pub Wait, what? Why are you publicly denouncing people? Ethiopia, you've got... You you don't even have any people to denounce. I mean, you don't have someone to actually make the denouncement. I guess this great general is literally the only person that's saying... That's talking shit right now. Babylon's key. The Ottomans are key. I think Persia... I don't know what Persia is doing exactly. Persia is going to go after uh, their former Persian city. Maybe we'll see India go to war with Persia soon. All right. All right. That's, this is going to be a big one. If that drops to India, India is going to get a lot more power. There's another big Chinese city that might fall. Come on, Indonesia. You can do it. You're, you're, you're kind of spreading yourself thin, though. You are spreading yourself thin. Wait a second. Where are the Great War Infantry? No, Indonesia. No, Indonesia, please. Keep going, man. Don't stop. Ah, uh, I don't know if the city's going to get taken over. It's so close. It's so close, but they they can't they obviously can't move in. They, this this damn anti-aircraft gun is is blocking their way. This great war infantry, I don't know where he's going. Maybe that was in maybe Indonesia's like whole thing in this game was to take over islands out here. Maybe they just wanted to stay with their island game that they were going on. Korea stayed really quiet since they've built the Apollo program. They've stayed really, really quiet. Good news for the rest, rest of the world. I guess good news because Genghis Khan's completely preoccupied with China right now. Um, but strange. No one at New Zealand just yet. No one in New Zealand. No one in Hawaii either. Mongolia is still trying to assert their dominance on the Pacific Ocean the way that the Zulu have, have asserted their dominance um, here in the Atlantic Ocean. Damn, I really wanted, like, Mongolian Disney worlds. Could you imagine that? Genghis Khan, like, riding, I don't know, Mickey, shooting arrow, arrows and killing people? That would be, that'd be magnificent, glorious. I'd want to go there. I definitely want to go there. And I cannot believe Berlin has survived. Jeez, that's that just shows you. I mean, the AI needs so much units. They just need numbers to win. They they seriously just need numbers. And sometimes that's not even the case because the Huns are right here not doing anything. It might be just a case of the Huns trying to maneuver around the city to go straight for the capital, which would be nonetheless very stupid as well. If anything, this has only caused the Polish Empire to get bigger and stronger. Since, you know, the Huns have yet to take a city, it's caused the, Pol the Polish Empire to just get bigger. Damn it, this sucks. This really, really sucks. Because there's no votes. I can't vote for anybody else. There's no, there's no other host, you know what I mean? So, I might maybe just, uh, I might just make it a random thing. Instead of just, yeah, let's just make it a random thing. Uh, we'll see. Hold on. Let's, let's look at, let's look over these, uh, these, these things here. Okay. So science funding was, uh, science funding was not passed. And then the city state embargo, embar embargo was not passed either. I'm going to make it random because I cannot just, I, I don't feel right just doing the city state thing, you know? So I'm going to close my eyes and, and I'm seriously going to pick this. Whatever I click. Ah, uh, wait, I'm not, it's not working. Stand tax army, boom, okay. This will probably not get passed, but uh, I'm not okay with just continuing to, because you have to think that 
if someone was else, well, someone else was in this position, because more than likely Persia is just going to continue to try to enact the science victory. If an AI was in this position, they would be doing other things, obviously. Um, so that's why I don't feel right having any sort of. I don't. I don't feel right uh, continuing to just you know embargo the city states because an AI would be using that that to someone's advantage. You know what I mean? And if if I, as long as I'm picking randomly, then I don't feel like it's any sort of impact on the game at all. As long as it's random. And standing tax army, honestly, well, it depends. That could be huge. Although, actually, no. Because Mongolia and the Zulu, who have the biggest armies in the world right now, have an un, like, a, like an unlimited amount of, of economic funds here. So, really, that doesn't matter at all. It just because, you know, again, the, the AI just has surpluses and surpluses of gold. Like, we, we saw, like, 20 AIs with thousands of gold like, three videos ago. Uh, by now, they probably all have, like, about 10,000 gold. So, really, standing army tax, um, even, even in your game, when you're playing in your game, unless you're playing on Prince, if you're playing anything higher than Prince, don't try to enact the standing army tax. It's not gonna lower the AI's army at all, because the AI, the AI has too big of an economic uh, a economy already for that to cause an impact on them as it is. So, but I don't think that's going to get passed anyways. Carthage, oh! So will Madrid fall? Technically, Madrid might fall. I'm surprised Carthage was able to get over here. I guess they were able to get their land units over here, but not their uh, naval units, which obviously Madrid's not coastal, so that didn't matter too much. And they've got some more reinforcements coming. They're not going to stop. You know what? Madrid might fall. And uh, we would see more African nations pushing forward from the south here into Europe. Technically, I know the Huns are European. Um, but you do kind of have an outside source attacking Europe. I, it's hard to... I know the Huns are European, but... It's hard to justify the Huns in this in this kind of way of being European. Just because they're... Well, they are. They are European, but it's just... I don't know. They're still an outside force, even though they're Europe. They do have a lot of uh, area outside of Europe. They do. They are. Yeah, they've got a lot of cities outside of Europe. Shaka has completed the Manhattan Project. The only thing I could think of is if Shaka were to take over a carrier and just nuke Korea's capital, and that's it. The AI doesn't do that, though. So, yeah, I don't think... that All this means is that Shaka is probably going to destroy the shit out of Europe. And honestly, the strongest European powers, I would say, are, are Rome, uh, maybe Austria. I mean, they, they've really kind of just grinded themselves down. They've really only have just, just grinded themselves down. Weird to see not so many notifications for the first time. The Ottomans are strong. The Ottomans are strong. Yeah. I mean, the Babylon is outside of, uh, just outside of Europe, but they're pretty strong. But I don't think there's ever going to be any sort of uh, problems there. Zulu, please eliminate the Egyptians. I don't know why you haven't yet. India and Russia. Now, you guys don't have any immediate borders, do you? No, you don't. Okay. That's fine. Gandhi wants to go to war with Catherine. That's fine. You can you can you can have that happen. And this city will probably fall. And you know what? I think after this Chinese city falls to India, I think we might see uh, India go for Siam and eliminate Siam. A lot of these one city guys are just being uh, destroyed all over the place now. Just everywhere. And then we have Mongolia scooting in for those last... I mean, China only has two cities left in the mainland. Uh, they obviously have a few of their colonies out here. There we go, Indonesia. Yep, you're going to take it. You will take it. That's what I'm saying. You guys You guys were saying, hey, you know, Drew, the Indonesian Navy isn't that good. They're, they're far behind in, in technology. But you know what? Hey, all Indonesia needs are these wooden, these little wooden boats right here. And they're going to do stuff with it. China did have battleships. It was like China had battleships, and I, I know that I was dumb for <laughs> for like boosting up the Indonesian Navy when they did. They were like super far behind in techs, but hey, or, or, or I'm sorry, tech. Uh, but hey, look at this. Indonesia is actually going to take a city, and they're going to move. They're going to move move on. This will not be. I don't think this will be the only Chinese city they take. Uh, yeah, you probably won't take that. Where did those Great War Infantry go? Are you being destroyed? Yeah, those great war infantry got destroyed. Damn it. So you're not going to progress your colonies in Australia anymore. There it is. Good job, Indonesia. And then you've got two more, you've got two more cities you could possibly take from China. 
China's looking weak. Who else is going to join in? Could it be Korea? Maybe. And when the hell are the Zulu going to go to war? The Zulu, everyone's just kind of sitting here, freaking out. It could, they could go after Morocco, technically. There's a lot of movement over here. You have to think that they'd be going after Europe. Europe is the weakest. When they have the biggest army in the world, you have to think, oh, I'm going to go after the weakest army in the world, and that's got to be France. Nothing. Nothing. Stay, they're staying quiet. Although Carthage would fall pretty easily, but that would still be pretty, I would say that would be a damaging war because uh, the Zulu would not be able to, you know, reinforce with their massive fleet out here in the Atlantic Ocean or in the Mediterranean. Uh, that would be a straight up land battle. Obviously, they'd still win ultimately, but that would be pretty devastating. Well, actually not, no. There's pretty much no war that'd be that devastating because there's just so many Zulu troops. It's insane. Uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to stop right there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.